right, folks. This happened the other day. And cops wonder why the public enjoys when they hear that an officer is down. Watch this footage. Um, the cop walks up to the car and the only thing, the only crime here is the car is illegally parked. That's it. The car is illegally parked and this is the passenger of the vehicle. The passenger that does not have to identify or anything. The driver is responsible for that vehicle, not the passenger. And then they wonder why the public enjoys when when they hear that there's an officer down. Newly released police body cam video shows how quickly an investigation into an illegally parked car turned violent. That's an officer sh uh, after an officer shot a man in the leg. And tonight, the police chief says he has concerns about how it all unfolded. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Karen Swenson. And I'm Cherise Gibson. Welcome to this hour-long edition of Eyewitness News at 5. Because of the NCAA basketball, uh, the chief says the officer who fired his gun may have violated department policy. And this is not the first time that this officer he did has been violate. in trouble for firing his gun on the job. Danny Monteverdi has that story. In this body... Now, the officer was involved in another deal where he discharged his weapon illegally according to policy. Cam video, which the NOPD released Friday, you see Officer Isaiah Shannon walk up to the car with his gun already out behind his back. Shannon and his partner, Officer Marcus Caldwell, stopped to investigate a car parked illegally at Warner Drive and Chef Highway about 9.30 a.m. on March 10th. Listen, you like to park on the wrong side of the road. Shannon asks the passenger if he and the driver have been smoking. I mean, I smell weed, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. It's a ticket nowadays, bro. Shannon and Caldwell ask the men to get out of the car. Step out real quick. And things escalate quickly. The passenger sprints away. Officer Shannon chases him. It ends in six seconds. The passenger is on the ground with a gunshot wound to his leg. Now the NOPD is investigating the shooting, and Police Chief Sean Ferguson says the way it started could be a problem. Should Officer Shannon have... He would not have shot this young man if his gun had been in his holster. I guarantee it. investigation as I said before I have some concerns on some possible administrative violations uh, but that is something that we're looking at this isn't the first time officer Isaiah Shannon has been investigated for firing his gun on the clock he was fired in 2014 after he was accused of lying about shooting at an unarmed man who was running away lying found enough evidence that we felt that this individual should have been separated from our department he got his job back in 2017 after an appeal but right he was given his commission and his job back. But now he's on desk duty as investigators wait for him to give his side about what happened. Fire this, this motherfucker. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. Officer Caldwell has given a statement and is back to work. The suspect who was shot is now facing any charges at the request of the district attorney's office. Meanwhile, the attorney for Officer Shannon declined to comment since this is still... He has his job back. Can you believe that? investigation he has his job back oh my goodness spitting cobra out here keeping it real i'm out